This week on Metropo Sports Center, we'll be talking to Bike Tribe Islands to understand how this activity is helping to keep them fit. It's a community group eh? uh, whereby the only thing that unifies is bicycles. We have a passion for riding. So we, we came together as a way of helping each other as youths because we had one thing in common, bicycles. So as you've seen, uh, the other guys have uh, road bikes, others have mountain bikes. But uh, the common factor is we speak one language and that language is bikes. We are close to 60 members. Uh, today we are few because others have other commitments, but normally we are so many. Uh, when we go for rides, we normally uh, block the whole road because we are that many. COVID affected our activities because we could not go outside already. Because uh, like me, I'm only four months uh, into the tribe. But uh, before I came in, they used to go to all the way to Makueni. They used to go all the way to Naivasha, Limuru. So they have. Uh, They've really done very, very uh, far distant rides. But uh, since I came, we've done Isinia, we've done uh, Kiambu, we've done Thika. This is the second time we're doing Thika, by the way. So, yeah, so it has really affected us, but we have tried and kept uh, fit during that time because we have had meets and rides in between. When I was introduced to Bike Tribe, by that time I was weighing 106 kilos. So, uh, the, the practice that we have undergone, uh, it has made me to reduce, have reduced up to 95 kilos. So it has helped me a lot. Now, a bit I'm feeling that I'm, I'm a bit uh, light the, than the way I was. I have participated in uh, bodybuilding and uh, I had added more weight because I was almost 116 kilos when I was doing bodybuilding. But I felt like my condition is not my condition is not really good. It's not up to standard. When I measure my BM, BMI, I, I find it's too high. So uh, I decided to join the bike tribe uh, so that I can do more cardio and I enjoy doing uh, cycling. My next goal is to try and tribe everyone from the youngest two years to 90 years old to be to sit on the saddle on the bike one big thing that i like about the bike tribe east lines we also have a development program for young cyclists uh, when uh, like this week we have uh, done a ride to thicker next week maybe we'll do kasarani so that we can include the kids who are like 15 14 years who are also part of the group because you are very very young kids who are aspiring to be cyclist uh, for the Kenya team uh, in the near future. So that is one good thing about it. Then we have professional riders who share with us tips and everything. Uh, I've been yearning so much to ride professionally, go races, and maybe win some trophies. Yeah, it has been, uh, it has been my very expectation. So early this year I joined a professional team. Not just on, just to train with them for a couple of months and uh, now I'm back in Nairobi the professional team the Kenya riders uh, are at Iten in Eldoret so I was there for four months and I've learned something yeah I improved my skills yeah so now that I'm back here in Nairobi in my team bike tribe I'm aiming to to show them what I learned there, yeah, to also them to improve their skills in riding, and we hope to participate in the races. We have a lot of safety measures. Uh, when you are doing most of like the big rides, we, we, we normally have uh, police. We normally have police escorts uh, and an ambulance with us and a, a towing car. Because like uh, today one of us got injured, it's unfortunately, uh, we didn't have an ambulance with us. 
but we normally have that as a precaution. The other thing is just the safety gear, because uh, we advise that uh, first and foremost you have a helmet. Uh, helmet is very, very key uh, to have. You have uh, the right cycling gears, the reflectors and everything. And also your bike has to be in good shape. Uh, not only you as an individual, but your bike has to be in good shape. So you have to service your bike at least uh, once or twice every month. Then uh, after that, uh, there are tips and signs and signals that we normally teach them as well. Like when you want, uh, when you're going over a bump, you indicate you're going over a bump. When you are maybe you are diverting, you can uh, put a thumbs up as you divert. I've known road signs, basically on not the signs that you use on a vehicle, but on a bike. And also my safety on the road has improved. I know where to pass and where not to pass. I know how to, when to join the road, where they are junction and serves, yeah. It has helped me a lot. I've known how to make flat tires, do service. Yeah, and I'm good. Before one is a member for Bike Trap Islands, uh, we have a registration uh, that is in place. Uh, we are currently trying to uh, get a, a figure because there are guys who are there before, they have invested a lot in terms of resources and everything. Uh, so those are some of the things that uh, we need to do and uh, we need to realize uh, first. So there will be a registration cap. Then one has to be committed 100% uh, to be part and parcel of us. Then uh, there is the kit, team kit, which is underway. So in the next like a month or two, when you visit us, we will be all be in the same gear. So those are some of the restrictions or registration things that we are trying to put in place to ensure that uh, we look more as a team and we look more unified. Uh, accidents are unforeseeable, so the best thing, we need to have an insurance policy, uh, which is an accident cover, and uh, that is what even at, at, uh, as bike tribe, we are trying to bring uh, an accident cover for all the riders, so that when one gets injured while uh, riding, they're able to co be covered with the insurance. So these are some of the things that are in the pipeline uh, as part of the registration as well. So we'll also have an insurance cover that will ensure that uh, riders are covered uh, to a tune of maybe up to half a million. So in case of any injury, they're able uh, to be covered. Their bikes as well are insured for accidents. So because bikes are quite expensive, because uh, just a good bike goes maybe for 50,000, the road bikes and maybe 200,000, 150,000. So there is an incentive to insure the bikes as well. So as, as, uh, apart from just having an insurance cover, personal insurance cover for accident, also an insurance cover for the bikes. So we are also en uh, engaging different insurance company just to see that uh, we can have this cover on board as well. So that anyone who is joining also has to pay insurance also has to buy the necessary equipment uh, that they need to ride. Before they start cycling, uh, one major thing that they need to have is a helmet. Helmet is very, very key uh, when you're starting cycling. Once you have serviced the bike and there's a bike, make sure you have a helmet. Make sure you have uh, a jersey uh, that is like a reflector or it's quite colorful, that is very, very easily visible. Uh, the other thing, make sure you have people who can guide you. Uh, as you start, because uh, there are so many techniques uh, that are in cycling that one needs to learn before they get on a major road or maybe just start cycling. Because if you don't have all these techniques, it means you're bound to make mistakes or you're bound to tear up uh, your muscles or uh, the small ligaments that you have. So you also need to know how to moderate uh, your gears when you're going up a hill, going down a hill, when you're on a flat surface. You, only, you need to know all these techniques and what can you do with your bike, what can you do with your bike. Because if you don't know these things, then you tend to harm your body. Uh, you will do thicker and tomorrow you will not get on a bike because you are tired. But you can find, you can do thicker today and still do thicker tomorrow and do thicker the day after. Because you have learned and mastered the techniques and you are getting better at it. So for those who are, who they, uh, they just want to lose weight. I can advise them that 
They just have to join the bike tribe. It will help them a lot to, to cut uh, their weight. You must have passion. You must, have, you must be courageous. Because on the roads, you'll meet many challenges. Yeah, and maybe at some point you'll feel like you want to give up, but you have to keep going. Yeah, you have to exercise more and more. You push to your limits. Yeah, and you'll, you'll achieve what you want. Just get in touch with me on Facebook or IG, whatever. Then we can always link up and make sure that we ride together and we learn uh, on this beautiful journey of cycling. Now, the take home from this week's episode is that cycling is just one of the ways that you can use to keep fit. Reporting from Metropole Sports Center, my name is Nashon Owano.